Hi, uh, I'm Alan. I work for Symantec. I'm an architect there. Today, I'm going to talk to you about logging, metrics, and monitoring as a service. This is a service that we are building on our cloud platform. Um, before I go into that, a small uh, introduction to our team. So we are building a consolidated cloud on top of OpenStack that would be consumed by Symantec uh, products and services. We are starting small, but we are very quickly scaling to tens of thousands of nodes across multiple data centers. About me, uh, like I said, I'm an architect uh, at the cloud in the cloud platform engineering team, and uh, I love to build and break systems. In my previous life, I worked as research staff member at IBM Research uh, and worked in compilers, automatic parallelization, et cetera. So moving on, the context for the logging, metrics, and monitoring, I'm calling that as LMM, um, is the cloud platform, like I mentioned. And um, like you could see, that is bare metal. And then we have an OpenStack deployment on top of that. And then we have built a bunch of platform services on top, like uh, batch processing, stream processing, key value as a service, object store as a service. Actually, you can listen to the Magneto DB uh, that's built by, jointly by Symantec and uh, Mirantis folks for the OpenStack. So that's the key value as a service here. And uh, the Symantec services and applications, they run on top of uh, um, the, both the OpenStack as well as the platform services. In a sense, they consume both uh, direct OpenStack resources directly as well as the platform services. And on the side, we have a set of common services. One of them is LMM, the logging metrics and monitoring. And there are a few others like identity management based on Keystone, and then a continuous um, integration and continuous deployment services. I'm going to be focusing on the logging metrics and monitoring. And um, the goals that we start, so this is built as a service, as a cloud service that the semantic applications and products would uh, consume. Uh, the goals that we started with are um, we would design this for both the developers as well as the operations folks. One of the things, one of the trend that you see that is quietly revolutionizing um, the area of logging metrics, et cetera, is that the consumers of these tools are more and more developers who directly want to deploy and manage their systems. So um, as a part of this, we want to uh, build a system that will be very easy for consume, uh, very easy for developers to consume, and also for ops to be very useful for the ops. And um, uh, multi-tenancy and security of, uh, are two features that is very high. At Symantec, security is like our bread and butter. So we make sure that everything that we build is like highly secure. And multi-tenancy is like a foundation block for that. And elastic scalability in terms of like there are, there are often sudden spikes in logs and metrics that comes through. You want to elastically scale and um, shrink. Uh, and we want to build one system. So another thing that distinguishes our system from others is that we are building a single system to store logs, metrics, monitoring, and many other change events. Typically, what you would found, find is like there are tools for doing logs aggregation. There are tools to do metrics. There are tools to collect other kind of monitoring kind of events. So we've, uh, our goal is to have a single system that would collect all these and allow you to do correlation across all these events. We have a lot of use cases that actually um, kind of exploit the power of being able to correlate across events, uh, across these variety of events. And it is also built to uh, be consumed by both under the cloud and over the cloud. Under the cloud in the sense by the bare metal, events coming out of the bare metal, the networking, the open stack, then all the way up to the applications that consume the platform services and open stack. And uh, we are building it using open source tools. You will see that pretty much as much as possible, wherever we could do, use an open source tool, we have used it. And also we are building it to open source it. We are going to open source, uh, I mean, we can open source any day we are interested in open sourcing, and it's built for open source. Another, so coming back to this building for both developers and ops, one of the guiding principles has been make it extremely easy for developers to actually capture or generate these events. The log events or the metric events, make it extremely easy for them to do so that they would do it. 
and uh, second, bring or provide powerful query and visualization tools for free. So along those lines for logs, the um, like I, I'm, I'm just showing a couple of examples here where just by inserting a log, uh, one could actually uh, exploit, get the power of like being able, being indexed in Elasticsearch, being able to query and visualize it. Similarly for metrics, one could actually just generate a metric, then the backend allows very sophisticated aggregation and visualization using InfluxDB and uh, Grafana. Moving on, the concretely the client interface um, is consists of three kind of different um, uh, aspects to it. So for logs, these logs are aggregated on local files and are then shipped to LMM. So for that, you see the uh, LMM shipper here. And uh, then for metrics, there are typically two kinds of uh, mechanisms used for metrics. One is when an application directly pushes a metrics. Like let's say you write a web service, you want to just push some metrics related to the web request that uh, you are servicing. The other kind of metrics are metrics that are exposed using uh, mechanisms like JMX or SNMP variables, uh, where the metrics is actually exposed on that interface. And you need some other tool that would actually pull those metrics and then can ship it to any metric system. So you see a push metrics and a pull metrics, two components there, and you have a shipper. And the shipper also helps us to uh, provide multi-tenancy by adding the tenant ID and API key to all the events that are being shipped to LMM. For the push, we are currently using StatsD. And uh, another, uh, ob there is another group that is building an extension to um, OpenStack logging uh, framework so that metrics can also be generated from the OpenStack uh, and sent to LMM. And for pull, we are using collect, uh, currently we are using collect D. And for shipper, uh, lumberjack or log stash agent, uh, they, they, they both are being considered or being used actually. So once the metrics are shipped to LMM, then the users can actually um, look at the log events in Kibana. Kibana is, uh, provides a very nice UI for uh, searching indexed log events, and it provides timeline queries and quite a lot of nice features. And uh, uh, it's an open source project. Uh, and also, the metrics can be actually visualized in Grafana, which is a, a tool similar to Kibana and allows you very nice correlation and visualization of uh, metrics. If I had time, I would have shown you demos of this, but feel free to talk to me after this. I can show you some demos. And there is also another piece of UI which allows you to configure alerts and um, uh, rules so that whenever you want, for example, if the CPU is above 90%, you want an alert to be generated. Or if you find a particular kind of fatal error in your log messages, you want an alert to be generated. These are the kind of alerts you could actually configure uh, using this UI. And um, security and multi-tenancy. The, uh, the service basically, the service uses Keystone for user authentication. So you, you, as you saw, like OpenStack is our foundation or the basic IAS platform. And uh, we use Keystone to authenticate across the stack. And the Keystone is used to authenticate uh, to access this service too. And the tenant, every tenant sending uh, logs or metric events actually generates a tenant, uh, gets a tenant ID from Keystone, uses that to generate an API key, and both of them together are used to authenticate uh, events that are sent to the LMR. And every event is actually tagged with the uh, tenant ID. So you could see that in the system, Pretty much you can think of the system as having separate buckets for each one of the tenants, and their events are all stored there. And all the queries coming in are actually restricted to the set of buckets they have access. So to also provide across the stack correlation or across tenant correlation, we use Keystone Groups to facilitate that. Under the hood, what we have is uh, this is a little bit, uh, so I'll go through from the top to bottom so you get a kind of a view of uh, kind of um, feel for the flow of the events. On the top, we have the client applications that are actually generating the events, the logs, the metrics, or any kind of events. And these events flow into the LMM system. And the first thing in the LMM system is 
a Kafka queue. Ka Kafka is a message queue, open source project, and um, uh, provides a durable or a persistent queue, very, very high throughput. So we could take like hundreds of uh, thousands, uh, we could take like 100,000 or 200,000 events per second very easily. So all these events get queued into Kafka, and then there is a Storm cluster. Storm is a stream processing uh, system, and a bunch of Storm tasks or jobs that actually take these events from Kafka and process them for authentication, validation, and alerts processing. And uh, uh, as a part of this processing, for all the log events, the log events are stored in Elasticsearch. They are indexed. They are parsed, validated, tokenized, and indexed on Elasticsearch so that one could go to Kibana and uh, Kibana, is a, think of it as a front end, web front end for um, uh, Elasticsearch. So it allows you to go and query. And all the metric events are stored in InfluxDB, which is a time series database. Uh, the Silometer uh, team is also actually looking at this as uh, one of the options for storing the Silometer metrics. So this uh, InfluxDB provides us with, with a very efficient way to store metrics data and query it. So those are stored there. And there is also a quota and a policy uh, manager that takes into account. So as you could think of any service that provides logging as a service, it needs to have and bound on the amount of space it gives to any one tenant. Because very easily, one thing we found is like very easily developers or some system could turn on debug log and just swamp all the space given to them. So this quota and policy manager basically keeps an eye on how much somebody is using. And we use a simple policy like log rotate. We give somebody 500 gigabytes. If they go above that, we just delete the old 20% of it and make space for that. And then, uh, you, so the events start from the top, flow to Kafka, then they are processed using the Storm cluster. Then they are stored or, uh, in the InfluxDB or Elasticsearch. And um, then they are accessed from the friend by Kibana and uh, Grafana. On the side, you will see Redis storing the alert rules and some of the configurations. And also Keystone is used for authentication and uh, group uh, user group management. So the current deployment. So we have uh, this running on production. Um, the current, there are multiple deployments of this, one for kind of a staging deployment and one for production. The um, uh, production one is running on bare KVM nodes. And the uh, kind of staging one is running on the OpenStack VMs. The production cluster runs out of like 40 plus VMs and uh, it has about 80 plus, 80 terabytes of storage, you could think of like because the Elasticsearch, we have about 40 uh, terabytes just for the Elasticsearch itself. And you have the metrics database and others. And uh, all the components are deployed in HA mode for uh, high availability, sorry, deployed in clustered mode for high availability. And uh, some components are uh, actually uh, doing active active replication. Some of them are doing active passive replication. Um, and it is used by the platform and the infrastructure services, like I showed you. And hundreds of thousands of events per second comes in. Kafka seems to scale fine, and uh, Storm also seems to really scale fine. And uh, every day, we index a few terabytes of logs in Elasticsearch, and uh, it seems to work fine, too. And the queries are currently coming from Kibana and Grafana. The loads are defined by the, those query patterns. But very soon, we are actually opening up that read API so users can directly go in there. So in um, view of time, I'm going to kind of skip this slide, but you can talk to me uh, if you're interested. There are very interesting stuff we are going to do, do in the next round. And um, thank you. So we, we are interested in open sourcing this. So if any of you is in, any of you uh, is interested in collaboration or you want to come work for us, you're open. Please feel free to write to me.